Grace and peace, grace and peace. This is Everett Gillamel of Agape International Outreach Ministry, as well as M2M Mail Initiatives. I got a quick message that I want to share with my brothers today. I want them to be able to reflect on what I'm about to share with them and examine their own life to find out if there is a missing piece that they have not found. Do you ever think about that there could be something in the heavens that God has not yet released to you? Is there something in the heavens that God has not revealed to you yet that you know and that you have a zeal and a yearn to find out what it is to make that fulfillment in your life? Well, I want to share something with you. I want to share that until you understand that you need to position yourself spiritually, relationally, as well as emotionally, you'll never understand and you'll never get what God has for you because when he created you, he created you to fulfill the mission and the mandate to be men powered. When I say men powered, this is about men, this is about men being powered for, by the grace and by the mercies of God so that they can fulfill the very mission and the very commission that God has put us here to do. So I want to share something really quick. I want you to understand that there's an inner knowing that you have not fully gathered or gained yet. And so when you put your mind in Christ and when you allow God to fulfill the works and the will that he has for you, then you will come into understanding your purpose, understanding the passion that you have to fulfill the void that is missing in your life. And so we have to understand and we have to ask ourselves this question, why am I not further than what I should have been or what even that I think I should be? Why is it that I'm not further than where I think I should be or where God want me to be? Well, I want you to understand that rather than blaming your wife, rather than blaming your, your siblings, rather than blaming your parents, Rather than blaming your children, rather than blaming the very job that God has you on, you have to reflect and say, am I in the atonement and the will of God? Am I fulfilling? Am I being the man that I should be? Am I being what a man supposed to represent here on earth as God created him to be? And so we have to understand that when you begin to align yourself with God, and his purposes, not your purpose. But when you begin to align yourself with God and his purposes, then he will open up the heavens and he will pour out that blessing that you need to make you spiritually fortified to be the kingdom man of God. So we got to ask ourselves today, am I what God created me to be? And where am I where God should want me to be? Where am I? in my life? Am I on that path of righteousness? Am I on that path of being developed into the kingdom man that God wants me to be in? Am I fortified spiritually and physically to actually endure the race of what men need to endure? So when we begin to align ourselves, when we begin to understand that it's about God's purpose for creating us to do his will and to fulfill the will of what man is supposed to be, that's when we'll begin to fill that void. But until then, we'll be walking and we'll be blameless in our own sight. Because why? We can never find out who we are until we know whose we are. So with that being said, people of God, be blessed. Learn who you are in God. And men, let's rise to the occasion and take our rightful places.